What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a uh, long, and I mean long, and I mean long, that's exactly what she said, uh, episode, and, uh, huh. well, here we are in Vermilion City, and, well, we're gonna be going to the SSN now. Vermilion City in Pokemon Yellow has a few things that you can actually check out. Like one, being this place right here, where you can actually talk to this gentleman and be like, I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Yes, I do. Grand, I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves an old rod. Fishing is a way of life. From the seas and the to the rivers, go out and land in uh, the big, big the, the big one, young one. Can't even read correctly right now, huh? But anywho, um, let's see. Vermilion City, you know it, you love it, it's right there next to the coast and all that crud, and uh, there are quite a few things you can find, like this individual right here. I just got a Squirtle that was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to see it straight, or set it straight. Unfortunately, we don't have a, uh, we don't have the third badge, so we can't really do much about that. So let's go right ahead and check out some other stuff right here, like if you talk to this guy, once a Pokemon learns an HM, the techniques can't be replaced. Better think carefully before you teach the HM moves, which is true, very, very true. So, let's go into the Pokemon fan club right here, and if you talk to, holy crud, Pikachu is reacting and he's like, oh, Pikachu's loving this. Pikachu's in love with this. Like, interacting with different Pokemon and whatnot, that's probably what's gonna keep your Pokemon, uh, your Pikachu nice and, uh, and happy and whatnot too. So. Before we do anything, let's go to this guy right here, and he, it's the its the chairman of the fan club, and he has more than 100 Pokemon, I love them all! I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So, did you come to hear me brag about my Pokemon? Yes I did. Good, and then listen up. My favorite Pokemon is Rapidash. It's cute, lovely smart, plus amazing! Do you think so? Oh yes, it, it's stunning, kindly, love it! Hug it when it's sleeping, warm and cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you waiting for so long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this, and we get ourselves a bike voucher, which will actually get us a free bike. Exchange that for a bicycle. Don't worry, my fear will fly me anywhere. So, I don't need a bicycle. I hope that you like cycling. Okay, all right, so we got ourselves a bike voucher, and uh, well, Pikachu right here. It's time to go, homeboy. Or homegirl, I'm sorry, it's Leah. She's in love with this. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go straight back to Cerulean City to show you that, well, look at this, we get our bike vouchers, a, a bike voucher, wow, can't speak, a bike voucher. So we'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so here we are back into in Cerulean City and we're in the bike shop. Now once you get the bike voucher, talk to this individual, and he's like, oh, that's, it's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. And we get ourselves a bicycle, yes! Now we can move faster. We can really move fast. Okay, so we're going back to Vermilion City and now we're going to the SSN, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back in Vermilion City and now we're gonna be going into the SSN and what we're gonna find right here is a lot of trainers, a lot of Pokemon, and a lot of items, so just make sure to actually put some of uh, some unneeded items into the PC because remember you can only store what 20 to 25 uh, items in your in your bag yeah and uh, yeah make sure to get the HM around here too because uh, yeah you don't want to miss that one it's uh, really really needed for this adventure now like I said we're gonna be battling against some trainers right here and homeboy thinks I'm barging into his space so what's going to happen is we're gonna be battling him and he's gonna be coming out with a Nidoran male and just like that, right off the bat, level 19 Nidoran male, we're thinking, uh, yeah, we're talking about, uh, yeah, Pokemon that are getting stronger and stronger. Now, here we go with Terramon, and well, Tackle Attack is going for it, and let's go straight for a Rock Throw, hopefully that will actually hit it, and well, here's a Poison Sting Attack, doesn't really work. But here comes a rock throw, and that takes half his HP. Here comes the horn attack. Not gonna work. Not gonna work at all, man. So here we go again, another rock throw attack. And that does the trick. Nidoran male has been defeated. And, well, let's see. He's gonna be coming out with a Nidoran female. Let's go with Ultra Psycho again. Now, 
there is a little bit of a something that I'm doing right here, guys. Yes, I am switch training Ultra Psycho because as soon as it evolves, it is uh, it becomes a lot stronger. But I am I'm actually gonna wait until Terramon evolves into a Growler in order uh, in order for me to uh, to trade it and actually evolve it and all that stuff. And uh, trust me, guys, there's going to be quite a quite a thing that I'm gonna announce later on. And good gravy! Getting our butts kicked right here. Here goes a peck attack. Yes, things are going to coincide pretty soon, and I uh, cannot wait. And good gravy. You don't have females kicking my butt? Yeah, we're not going to survive this next one right here. So we got to switch it out. And it has a fighting type attack, so that's not going to work. Let's go with Leah so we can actually uh, take out this Pokemon right here. And here comes the Poison Sting. Hopefully it doesn't poison me. Oh, and it poisoned me. Good gravy. Okay, so, yeah, we are... Yeah. Holy crud. And it's paralyzed. Okay, so that couldn't have come in at a better time right there, but this Nidoran female is really messing us up right now. Alright, here we go. Thundershock. And there you go. Thundershock for the win. Ultra Psycho grows to level 14. Still hasn't learned any moves except for, you know... Seismic Toss, and we will be having that move on that for quite some time. Now, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. So we got five potions. Tornado already wrecked. And it's using, yeah, almost half our, our potions right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go with an Antidote. And there we go. Okay, so, <laughs> rough start to this whole... Uh, excavation or something like that and I think we have a room right here no we're gonna be battling some guy right here okay I travel alone on my journeys my Pokemon are my only friends Wow Wow okay here we go gentlemen wants the battle and he's coming out with a Growlithe and uh, here we go ultra psycho not ready to battle just yet and I kind of wish I had a water type Pokemon soon very very soon and here's Terramon, and that roar attack's not gonna work. But thankfully, we do have a uh, we do have a, what was it? Rock throw. Now there is a dig attack that I do have, so I'm probably gonna have to teach this Pokemon dig right after this battle because it could work against you know s uh, specific Pokemon trainers. And there we go. Growlithe has been defeated, and Terramon's growing levels. And here comes another Growlithe. So Terramon, let's go. Let's get this. Terramon with a rock throw. Why are you growling? Like, why are you roaring? Seriously. It's not supposed to work. And, well, there's an ember attack. That kind of hits us a little bit. And not... Oh, wow. Seriously? Oh, my God. So, there we go. We got burnt. And, uh, yeah, should have stocked up on some burn heals. Holy crud. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, let's see. I used up that full uh, full restore on that that battle against that cliff or that what you would call it uh, on that butterfree. So I'm gonna teach it dig. Uh, Godzilla can learn dig, but I'm not gonna waste it on Godzilla because eventually it becomes a flying type, and uh, there's no need for me to do that. So let's go ahead and take away bite since it's not really a useful move anymore. And well, that's pretty much it right there. So let's go ahead and move on right here. Now that we got a ground type move, it can actually work in our in our uh, favor right here. And well, if you talk to this girl right here, she's gonna be like, "Waiter, I would like a cherry pie, please." Okay, all right. So that's kind of odd right there. Let's go ahead and talk to this person right here. And I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. A cruise is uh, so elegant yet cozy. Hmm. What about this person? I always travel with my Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff. Okay, so let's see. Talk to this person. Bonjour! I am the Wule Waiter on this ship. I will be happy to serve you anything you please. Ah, the strong and silent type. Kind of a wrong impression. Or, and oh, oh, wow, we're going to be battling some Pokemon traders right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, where are we, uh, who do I want to come out with first? I would like to come out with, you know what, let's go with Ultra Psycho. Hopefully this will actually, like, we'll get, we'll get some stuff done. Right, so here we go. 
There it is. And... Well, here we go against Lass. And she's coming out with her Pidgey, so... Ultra Psycho's ready to go. Unfortunately, we're gonna be switching out one more time. Because, uh... Oh, yeah. So there it is. Holy crud. Its accuracy is leaving. But here comes a Thundershock, hopefully for the win. And... That defeats Pidgey. Although, our accuracy is going low right there. And, well, here comes a Nidoran male. Now that I got myself a Rock-type move, I can use this to my... Or a Ground-type move, I should use this to my benefit. Because remember, in Generation 1, if you make a Pokemon faint while you have a status effect like Poison or Burn, it won't affect you. But unfortunately, this is a two-part thing. So yeah, we kind of messed up right there. So here goes the Dig Attack. And that nearly makes this Nidoran male f or female faint. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go with a rock throw. And here comes a poison sting. Thankfully, we won't get affected by any of that stuff. So, oh my god! This is ridiculous. And there's a the double kick. Okay, so I kind of wanted to do that. Uh, mainly because, well, we don't have a revive. And the rock throw doesn't work. Okay, so we kind of did this to ourselves. Um, you know what? Make it faint. Give it the uh, the rare candy to revive it. That way, it doesn't have any status effects right there. That's uh, that's something right there that you can actually use. So let's go to Godzilla right here, guys. Godzilla, Godzilla, ready to destroy. Let's get this with an Ember attack. And there we go. Nidoran female has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so she went around the world for these. Yes. Okay, so. I was planning on using that rare candy on on Ultra Psycho, but unfortunately, Terramon had to be a dick and, you know, faint. So there it is, level 20. And let's go ahead and give it a super potion just for extra measure right there. And there you go. Okay, so now, now we got that thing situated. Let's go ahead and battle another person right here. And I love Pokemon. Do you? I kind of do. I really do. Okay, so here we go. Youngster ready to go. Coming out with a Nidoran male. Level 21. This would be so easy if Ultra Psycho would have a friggin' confusion attack. But no, we have to go to Terramon right here again. And, well, there's the double kick. Good gravy! Oh my god, this is gonna be bad. Okay, so that's uh, two kicks right there. Okay. So thankfully we do have we do have a, a high defense, but you know, look at this, we're poisoned again. Terramon's taking abuse right now. And well, let's see, tackle attack, come on, finish it off. And there goes Nidoran male. Okay, so that's that. And well, like I said, it would be going it would be easier if, you know, Ultra Psycho were, were to learn a move. Or, you know, it's confusion attack. So now we have to use another antidote right here. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this. And we found ourselves a TM-08, which I believe is Body Slam. We're going to save that for a little bit later. And, well, let's see. Talk to this guy. Shh! I'm a global police agent. I'm on the trail of Team Rocket. Hmm. Okay, all right. Let's move on. Okay, so there's quite a few entrances, exits, and all that stuff. So let's go right here. This is the kitchen, and you'll be able to find a few items here. There's nothing. If you go right here, there's nothing. But if you go right here, you're going to find yourself a Great Ball. Now, I could have waited. I could have waited and grabbed the Great Ball to in order to capture, uh, in order to capture Abra. But I kind of didn't want to wait. So, yeah, that was the, that was the thing right there. So, let's go right here, above, and uh, I think we're going to go above right here, and we're going to be going into the, I believe, the poop deck. I wonder if it, if it is the poop deck. Do they even call it the poop deck anymore? And this guy looks like he's ready to battle. So, let's go ahead and switch out, okay? I kind of don't want to get my butt kicked real badly, but I have a feeling that this guy has, like... You know what? Let's, let's trust our instincts right here. Aaliyah, let's go. Alright, let's see what you got. Ahoy there! Are you seasick? I don't know. You know what? I've never even been on a cruise, to be quite honest, guys. In all my life, never been on a cruise, and yes... Oh, I knew it. 
Good God, I knew it. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch it out to Tornado right here. Oh my God, okay, so Tornado, how's it going? And Karate Chop for Machop right here. And that is a critical hit, like none other. And that right there is annoying, so there goes a Karate Chop again. And there goes Tornado, so that kind of, uh, yeah, that's the reason why uh, Switch Training here is annoying. So let's go with Godzilla. And, well, let's go with an... Oh, wow. Seriously? Oh, my God. Okay, so I did not mean to do that, but that kind of messed up his attack right there. So there we go. Ember attack does it. Critical hit for the win. And everybody's getting experience points. Godzilla grows to level 17. And this guy's about to use a tentacool, so let's go straight for Aaliyah and just destroy this guy. Just absolute, absolutely destroy these guys. So here we go, Thundershock again. And this Thundershock, finish off the tentacool. Okay, alrighty, and come on Aaliyah, you gotta grow to level 26. We gotta learn a new move. It's ridiculous. And, well, we got two more trainers right here. Oh god, this is uh, this is not the best of situations because I know for a fact these guys have like some uh, status affecting Pokemon, but I kind of want to get to Ultra Psycho to evolve. Now remember, in the last episode, we had our very first evolution in the walkthrough. Normally, like the first three episodes, you already had like two or three evolutions, guys. But right here, nope. And here's Machop, holy crud. So this is a huge problem right here. So I'm going to go straight for Sir Razor. And we're going to do some status affecting uh, moves right here. Here's Karate Chop. That could... Oh, wow. Critical hit again. This is ridiculous. Okay, so another Karate Chop. And uh, yeah, this is exactly what happens when you try to switch train. This is ridiculous. Okay, so that's two Pokemon down. Man, this is like the toughest time I've ever had right here. And that was a critical hit, and he is paralyzed. Okay, so fully paralyzed. Time to eat another Thundershock. Eat it. There we go. Machops are starting to be the death of me. And Ultra Psycho grows to level 15. Had I gotten the, had I not wasted on my, you know, the rare candy on somebody else, this would have been different. And here we have Thunderbolt. So now we got some extra firepower right here. So switch out the Thundershock. Go with the Thunderbolt. Time to destroy. Oh yes, and well, Shelder's coming out. Time to use that new weapon. That new secret weapon, time to destroy with a Thunderbolt right here. And this one is 90 base HP. So this is going to be a very, very shocking one. And yes, Sailor has been defeated. Yeah. Okay. So we got two Pokemon defeated. I have no revives. And I don't think there's a rare candy on board right here. So... Yeah, we're really, 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 really on the cusp of uh, messing up some stuff right here. So, here we go. That's one. There we go. Two. And may uh, the force be with us because we got two Pokemon that are defeated right here. So, let's go right ahead and take on this guy. Scrubby Dix is hard work. Okay, I thought he was going to battle us. So, that was two guys right there. Okay, so, yeah, we're having a time of our lives right here. Kind of getting a little irritated about the two Pokemon fainting and whatnot, but that's part of the game right there, guys. So, let's see. This one, this area leads to the to the captain. So, let's go down and let's go to the other side of this, uh, this area right here. Before we get to Gary and everybody else, let's just, you know, let's just chill and, you know, battle some other people. I know that there's a... Well, we don't have any room right here to heal up our Pokemon. That's the messed up part right there. So we're going to be finding some other rooms. And there is an item right here. You grab it. It's a max potion. And talk to this guy. My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move rocks. Okay. That is true. That is very, very true. Eventually, they become like a ride Pokemon and stuff. And, well... Again, I do not want to risk it. Uh, these guys do have status affecting Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and start battling them both with Pikachu. My Sailor's Pride is at stake! Really? Is it at stake? Is it really at stake? So here we go. Sailor wants to battle, and he's coming out with a horsey. 
And uh, hello, horsey. I've been uh, ha I've been having an eye out for you as of late. And there we go. A huge super effective right there. And he's about to come out with a shelter now. I wish I had Sir Razor to actually help us, but that's not the case. And if I use Terramon, that's yeah. I'm yeah. It's a double-edged sword right there. Can't do anything about that. So here we go. Thunderbolt for the win. And uh, Shelter has been defeated. And, well, let's see, get, getting all the experience points for all the Pokemon right here. So let's just continue on. He's got a Tentacool. Thunder or Thunderbolt right here. Okay, alrighty. So there we go. A Thunderbolt destroys everybody. And, well, the Sailor is just happy. Happy as can be because, you know, I beat him. Your spirit sank me. And let's see what this guy has to say. You know what they say about sailors and fighting? No, I really don't. I really don't know. Okay, so here he has one Pokemon, and he has a Shelder. Yeah, okay, so Thunderbolt. Yep. And there we go, Shelder has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, so there we go, another another victory for us right there, and then, uh, well, yeah, Pikachu's gonna be growing some levels while other Pico, other Pokemon should be, and, uh, well, this guy wants to battle us. Let's grab this, we found ourselves an Aether, and let's take a risk right here, okay? We're gonna take a risk, we're gonna go with Ultra Psycho, because this could, uh, yeah, this could actually, yeah, this could actually, uh, I don't know. This could actually help us out a little bit. So here we go with a sailor coming out with a horsey, and it could it could help us. So let's go straight back to Aaliyah, and there's the bubble attack. It will lower our speed, but that thunderbolt attack will actually help us right here. So here we go, thunderbolt for the win. And there we go. Look at that. Okay. And, well, let's see. He's going to be using another horsey. So I don't mind switching out for horsies and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. Horsies are not that scary. But they are. They do evolve into a pretty cool Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and switch it out back to Aaliyah. Alrighty. Okay. And here comes another bubble attack. Chris Jericho would be proud of me. And that was a critical hit. But here comes a Thunderbolt attack. And that right there takes care of Horsey. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And uh, Aaliyah, of course, grows to level 27. And here comes another Horsey. So let's go right ahead and go back to Ultra Psycho. Now this is just training Ultra Psycho. I need Ultra Psycho to evolve into Kadabra so we can actually have something. Some a Pokemon are well worth to destroy everything in the world. Because it is broken right here in Generation 1, so let's go right ahead, do that, Thunderbolt, yeah buddy, and Thunderbolt does it, for the win, and Ultra Psycho finally grows to level 16, hallelujah, we got a Pokemon now, okay, ugh, lost it, yes you did, and Ultra Psycho is finally evolving, yeah, it took us a while, it did, and, well, there it is. We got ourselves a strong Pokemon, Kadabra. Now, like I said, we could trade it and evolve it into Alakazam, but I'm not. I'm gonna wait until, you know, we get Graveler. So let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Kadabra, oh, crap baskets. Oh, I was about to say, huh, <laughs> we just gonna teleport like there. So as you can see, Kadabra, its stats go up way up. But once it evolves into an Alakazam, ooh, it's going to get scary. It's a Psychic-type Pokemon, and it does have three moves. Now that we can actually use Confusion and just go rumshaw on everybody right here. Now, once it learns Recover, that is the move to actually keep an eye out. Now, this guy has been... He, he placed that item right there just to lure me. Us sailors have Pokemon, too. Okay, let's go. Bring it. Let's go. Just like The Rock says, bring it. And this is the perfect matchup because he has a Poison-type Pokemon. And this is going to get scary right here. So here comes a Confusion attack. And that right there did a little bit of damage. And good gravy, please do not poison him. I was going to say, come on, if you poison me again, I'm just going to run out of uh, antidotes. And there we go. 
Look at that. Okay, so I'm liking what I'm seeing and finally a little bit backup. A little bit of backup right here. So here comes a star you. And let's go with a thunderbolt attack right here. Thunderbolt does it. Gets it. Does it. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All right. Look at that. No, you're not too bad. We're not bad. Okay. And if we grab this, we grabbed ourselves the TM44, which I believe is Rest. And I think you can actually use it to revive a Pokemon. I could be wrong. Okay, so I'm going to take another risk and go with Godzilla right here. And let's see what this guy has to say. Hello, stranger. Stop it, chat. All my Pokemon are here are from the sea. Good God. Yeah, we kind of messed up right there. And this is a fisherman. Please let it be a Magikarp. Nope. It's a tentacle. And this is the worst matchup ever in the world. So let's go back to Aaliyah. And hopefully it doesn't get poisoned. And this is a wrap attack. So this is going to be annoying as heck. And there we go again. Man, this is a... Fantastic, huh? Fantastic. Well, thankfully we have... Uh, potions and all that stuff but here comes a thunderbolt just for wrapping me and there goes tentacle I don't feel bad for you not one bit there we go and well he's coming out with a star you continue on the, he has nothing but water type Pokemon right here and good thing that we have an ether I think an ether and an elixir could be wrong can actually help us with this whole thing and well there it is another victory and here comes a shelter man Let's go, Thunderbolt, for the win. And the Thunderbolt does its trick. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, and Fisherman has been defeated. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I'm not taking a risk anymore. I'm just going to go straight to the two Pokemon that got me here, Ultra Psycho and Aaliyah. And, matey, you're walking the plank if you lose. Yeah, not gonna happen. Not going to happen. Okay, so here we go. Let's get it. Another time, another matchup. And yes, he's coming out with a Machop. So this is a perfect matchup. And let's go straight for a Confusion attack. And that nearly defeats this guy. And wow, Karate Chop really hits us where it hurts. Critical hit. Good God. Oh my god, okay, so let's go with Godzilla. Holy crud, okay, so we're... <laughs> yeah. We're barely gonna make it out of here alive. And there we go, Machop has been defeated. And Godzilla, Godzilla saves us right there. Holy crud. So we got three Pokemon fainted. Three. Oh my god, okay, so yeah, they should have put revives right here. It's a lot more entertaining, and... Oh, uh... well, there we go. All right, so Aaliyah has been uh, re replenished, and uh, well, there's nothing at right here. Oh my God, yeah. So how's how's it going, guys? How's it going? Is this a little bit funner to watch? You know, um, watching me getting uh, my 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 you know me getting my butt kicked and all that crud because yeah, it is not fun right now. To me, it's not fun, but to you guys, it's probably fun. Okay. Now, let's finish off right here, because we still got a battle with Gary to attend to, and, well, there might be an item here or there. If you talk to this gentleman, in all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. And bam, you'll find yourself Snorlax, which, you know, obviously is a Pokemon that I like, and I used in my old adventure. And, uh, oh, crud. I wonder what that could be. Let's go with Aaliyah. Come on. Let's get it. Okay, so here we go. Check out what I fished up! So I was correct about using the right Pokemon right here. This is a Fisherman. He's got three more Pokemon. Man, my Pokemon are going to be experienced and tired. And, well, there's three... Yeah, three Pokemon or three uh, Thunderbolts left. But thankfully we have an Aether. So it's like, it's not really... Is it really faint? Or is it really done? I don't know. And he's coming out with a tentacle, so yeah, let's go right ahead and use another Thunderbolt. Yeah, we're just going to destroy everybody right here. So there we go, Thunderbolt for the win. 
And there goes another one. And Aaliyah grows to level 28. And here comes another Goldeen. So let's go ahead and just uh, use this Thunderbolt attack for the win. And there we go. Say goodbye to Goldeen. Say goodbye to Goldeen. And well, there we go. Another victory for us. And he's like, I'm all out. Now, we got to use an item right here an ether. We got two of those things. And there we go. Okay, so the PP has been restored. Let's go right ahead. God, okay. I'm going to take another risk right here. Every time I take a risk, I'm just like, damn, I'm getting my butt kicked. All right, let's see what we got. Competing against young keeps, or the young keeps me youthful. Well, it keeps me, you know, keeps me on my edge. So here we go, gentlemen. And we picked correctly because he's got himself a Voltorb. So Terramon will actually be able to help us out right here. And there's a tackle attack not going to be effective. That was a critical hit. And, well, even if you screeched at me, it's not going to work. And there we go. Voltorb has been defeated. Terramon finally getting some screen time right here. And, well, he's coming out with a Magnemite. And, again, this is Generation 1, guys. Levitate does not exist. The Steel type does not exist right here. So, yeah. If you're playing this game for the first time, just be aware of that. And there's that Dig Attack. And there we go. Magnemite defeated. And, well, Terramon grows the level 21. And is trying to learn self-destruct. Okay, so this move right here is a pretty good move if used correctly. I'm actually going to be using it onto, or I'm going to be replacing uh, defense, uh, well, defense curl, just in case I I, I need uh, to to win something right here. And well, good fight. Ah, I feel young again. Okay. And what is this item? A max ether. Okay. Well, that kind of helps. Where's a, where, yeah, where's a reviver? We need one. And, well, if you talk to these gentlemen. Ah, yes, I have seen some Pokemon fairy people across the water. Pokemon cut down small bushes. Or can cut down small bushes. Okay. And, well, let's see. We are close to being done here. And, well, ah, crud. Yes, more trainers. Which do you like? A strong or a rare Pokemon? Why not both? Why, why not a strong rare Pokemon or a rare... Yeah, you know what I mean, guys. So here he comes out with a Growlithe. I am... Uh, oh, yeah. Pikachu is... Aaliyah is taking a breather. And, yeah, that roar attack is not going to work on me. So, yeah. Good luck. There we go. Dig attack. And there goes Growlithe. I feel so... I feel so good about this. All right. He's coming out with a Ponyta. Okay. Some Fire-type Pokemon. Bring him on! And, well, that Ember attack, not a lot of damage right there. But, there we go again with another Dig Attack, and there it is, Dig Attack for the win. Say goodbye to Ponyta. Yeah, buddy. And, well, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. Now, here's the risk. Switching it out to Godzilla, and... Uh, I'm hoping that this chick has some grass type Pokemon because if she doesn't, yeah, it's gonna be on me. And she has one Pokemon and it is a Jigglypuff. Good gravy. That There's nothing even worse than a Jigglypuff right here. So here we go Ember attack. Come on, burn it. And the Disable attack misses. Okay, so again, Generation 1, Disable randomly gets a, gets a move. And not the last move that you use. And uh, unfortunately, it got my Ember attack. So let's go with Scratch attack right here. There we go. We're almost done. We are almost done. Come on. Earn it, Godzilla. Godzilla. Earn it. And it can't work. Let's go again. Scratch attack. Godzilla. Godzilla is working for everything. And look at that. Three Pokemon in. Hello, level 18. And uh, yeah, we earned this one right here. Yes, take it easy. All right, let's grab this item. And it's a rare candy. Thank you, thank you, Arceus. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that. Let's use that on somebody right here. Okay, so who do I need? <laughs> um, you know what? Let's go with old, with Sir Razor. We need to wake him up. And it's trying to learn Sleep Powder. That's actually a good move that we can actually use to our advantage. So let's go right ahead and... Uh, Take away poison powder for right now. And bam, sleep powder right here. And let's go ahead and 
Use a super potion to wake this guy up. There we go. And now we got a little bit more backup, which is great. And let's move on right here. And this is... Okay, so if you talk to this guy, he's going to tell you about the Safari Zone. It's in Fuchsia City. It has many rare kinds of Pokemon, which is good. And me and my daddy think of the Safari Zone as awesome. Okay. Alright, it looks like we're getting towards the very end right here. And... These two ladies are just here. The captain looked really sick and pale. Hmm. I hear many pil uh, people get seasick, which is true. I don't. I've never been on a on a. I've never been on a ferry or on a cruise, guys. I couldn't tell you. But if you guys get seasick, let me know. That'd be uh, great to know and all that crud. So let's see. We're right here, and uh, yeah, we still have to take on Gary. Alright, since I know his, uh, his game plan, let's go straight to Aaliyah. I got Thunderbolt. I'm about to smash on this kid. Okay, so here's Gary, and he's like, Bonjour, Draven. Imagine seeing you here. Draven, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. Okay, well... It's nice to know that you, you know everything. So here we go, taking on Gary once again. This is battle number three, and he'll be coming out with the same Pokemon. And every single time, he's going to be adding one new one. So here we go, Thunderbolt. You didn't expect that, huh? No, you didn't. All right, Spiro has been defeated, and, well, there's more points for us. Rattata's coming in, so let's go straight to Sir Razor. No, 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 Terramon. I was about to say Sir Razor, no. And, well, let's go right ahead and tear him on right here. Let's get the rock throw. And here comes a hyper fang. Not going to be super effective because, yes, our defense are hard. And that rock throw does some damage. Nearly beats this guy. So let's go right ahead and go with the mega punch. Oh, my God. Come on. Just faint already. And just like that, we have defeated Radita. And here he comes out with a sand true. This is a time. This is a job for Sir Razor, since it is a grass type Pokemon itself. So here it is, Sir Razor, Vine Whip, and Scratch Attack is really, really getting at us. But here goes the Vine Whip Attack, and that right there takes a lot of HP. And another Scratch Attack, man. I really wish Sir Razor would learn like its Absorb Attack or something. But there it is, a victory for Sir Razor finally. And here comes Eevee. So let's go straight to Aaliyah. Alrighty. I've been waiting for you, Eevee. I have trained very, 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 very strongly for you. And there it is. Thunderbolt nearly beats this guy. Good gravy. Okay. Another Thunderbolt just to put it in its place. And there it is. Thunderbolt for the win. There goes a good Pokemon. And, well... <laughs> At least you're raising your Pokemon. I am. I, I really am. I heard there was a Cutmaster on board, but he was just an, a seasick old man. But Cut itself is really useful. You should go see him. Smell ya! Flipping you off, man. I'm flipping you off. Okay, let's move on right here. So, if you go right here, you check in the basket, or the, the, the garbage basket. Yuck, shouldn't have looked. See the uh, sea captain? Ugh, feels hideous. Ugh, seasick. And yes, we rubbed his back, and who, who'd ever thought that the rub, rub, rub a dub gets him all, you know, whatever, healed. And I'll be right back with you guys. Getting a call from the girlfriend. Okay, let's get this down out of the way. Okay, so, woo, thank you, I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I could show you, I could show you if it wasn't ill. I know, you can have this. Teach it to your Pokemon, and you can cut, see it cut any time. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves the HMO1. And if you talk to this guy, well, whew! Now that I'm not sick anymore, I guess it's time. It's, it's time for what? Wait, wait, wait. It's time. Oh, okay. It's time to leave. Anywho, we survived, guys. Holy crud. We survived. And I'll be right back, because again, the girlfriend's calling. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we gotta get this done before the girlfriend calls me again, because she's gonna call me and... Oh my god. Who ever thought that being in a relationship is, like, this hard? Especially going into your Pokemon walkthroughs. Yeah, good old Draven is living large and all that stuff. So, we're finally done here. We survived. And, uh, well, I could say that it was a little fun. A little hard. But still, it was fun. 
And as you can see, it's saying bye bye. Bye bye. And well, unfortunately, in Generation 1, once you leave this place, you, you may never come back. And don't even bother about the truck glitch or anything like that, guys. Mew is not there, but yep. That's pretty much it for the SS and so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it right here guys. Stay tuned in the next episode. We will be back for the third the third gym battle. See you guys. And the girlfriend's calling. <laughs>